Hi everyone, our today's experiment is to find resistance of galvanometer by half deflection method. So the circuit diagram is very simple. So this is the galvanometer whose resistance we are going to find and this is high resistance box, this is low resistance box. So this uh, uh, high resistance box is connected through a battery and key to galvanometer. So this circuit is in series combination and uh, this circuit, this low resistance box is connected to the parallel of the galvanometer through the key. So let's move towards the uh, performance. So uh, dear student, the circuit is ready. So this is the galvanometer, this is low resistance box, this is key K1, this is battery, this is high resistance box and this is K, key K2. Okay. Now let's start performance. First of all, first of all, uh, I plug uh, this key K2 in and I can see the deflection of the galvanometer. It is out of the scale. Now uh, I plug out a suitable uh, resistance from high resistance box. So let's suppose I plug out this one and as you can see this resistance is 5000 ohm. And we note the corresponding reading from the galvanometer. So this reading is as you can see it is uh, at 30 division. So let's note uh, this reading. Now we insert this key K1 and as you can see the deflection in the galvanometer it is shaken and now it is nearly equal to zero and now we find the uh, resistance from low resistance box and we will find the half deflection of 30 that is 15 so we try to get division on 15. So first of all I plug some resistance from here and note the corresponding reading from the galvanometer. Uh, it, it should be on 15 division. No it is not on division, 15 division. So uh, let's uh, plug out some more uh, resistance from the low resistance box and uh, let's suppose I plug out uh, some more resistance from here. So I plugged uh, some resistance but uh, let me check the deflection is half or not. So, so I plugged a resistance of 100 ohm and 10 ohm. So it is total 110 ohm. Now let's see the corresponding uh, deflection from the galvanometer. As uh, I can see uh, the deflection is on exactly 15 division. That is the half of the 13. Now let's note this observation in the table. Now let's note the observation. So our high resistance box reading was 5000 and corresponding deflection on the galvanometer was 30 dBn and half was 15 and resistance from low resistance box 110 ohm. So let's take other observation. Now let's move towards the second observation. For that purpose we plug out uh, a suitable resistance from the high resistance box. As you can see we have plugged out uh, 400 more resistance and it is total 5400 uh, 5, ohm from the high resistance box. And now let us uh, uh, see the uh, observation on the galvanometer. As you can see the deflection is exactly on 28 division. Now let's see, now, now let's we uh, plug in the key K1. As you can see we are plugging in the key and the galvanometer's uh, deflection has been shaked. And let's see uh, either it is on the division 14 or not. So as you can see the deflection is exactly on 14 and we note the corresponding reading from low resistance box and it is the same 110 ohm. So let's uh, write down this observation in the table. Now let's uh, write down the second observation. The resistance from high resistance box was 5400 and corresponding deflection on the galvanometer was 28 dBn 
and its half uh, i observed it is it was 14 and the resistance from uh, low resistance box was uh, 110 now let us move towards the third observation and uh, we plug uh, out a suitable resistance from high resistance box uh, as you can see we have plugged out uh, total resistance 5900 from the high resistance box and let us observation as you can see the deflection on the galvanometer is exactly on 26 dvn and for a half deflection let us we put the key k1 in now let us make the observation from the galvanometer as it should be on 13 dvn so as you can see the deflection is exactly on 13 dvn so box uh, as you can see it is 110 ohm so resistance from high resistance box was 5900 and the deflection was 26 dvn and its half was 13 and this resistance from low resistance box was 110 now let us uh, calculate the resistance by using this formula we calculate it and then find we its average so let's we calculate this okay uh, the observation uh, we have calculated this value the first observation has value of rg is 112 volt uh, oh i'm sorry it is 112 again it is 112 again now let us find its mean value of uh, its its mean value so its value will be 112 ohm so we can write here the resistance of galvanometer is 112 ohm so that's all from here